Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to retouch and repair photos in the Photos app on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So the Photos app on your Mac has a tool in it that will help you retouch and repair photos. And it's really simple to use. So as an example here let's look at this rose. And this rose has some imperfections in it. If I zoom in here you could see some little marks on the rose itself. And maybe you want this to be a little bit more perfect image of a rose. So to do that you want to edit the photo by clicking on the Edit button at the top right to go to the Editing Tools. Make sure you've selected Adjust here at the top. And then look at the adjustment tools here. One of them is called Retouch. Click on the Disclosure Triangle here to the left to reveal the tool. To use it first you would select a size. So click and drag in the slider here and you can see that circle change to show the size. If I want to get rid of this blemish here I want something that's just a little bit bigger than it. So let me make it about this size like that. And once I've adjusted the size the tool is ready to use. However you could also click on this button here to the left of the size control to turn it on or off. So you can see with this off I'm just in regular mode with the regular pointer. With this on now I've got that circle there and I can retouch. So all I need to do here is click and it will retouch that area. And you can see how it's smoothed over in perfection there. Now the best way to work with this is to zoom in as much as you can. So I'm going to use my trackpad to zoom in or you could use View and then Zoom In, Zoom Out, Command Plus, Command Minus to get to the small imperfections there. Adjust the size to get to the proper size for the imperfection and you can click there to get rid of it. I can still use two fingers on the trackpad to move around. When there's an imperfection like this I don't have to click in different spots. I can just click and drag along the imperfection like that. It's best to do this in small bits at first. So don't try to just drag over all of this but kind of click on certain areas, drag over others and just keep going until you get things looking the way you want. And remember anytime you mess up like maybe doing that and it kind of blurs that area there just use Command Z to undo that last change and then keep working on it. You always want to adjust the size to fit whatever it is that you're changing. Now there are keyboard shortcuts for doing this. The square bracket keys you can go down and up in size using those. So you don't have to keep moving over here. You can keep your pointer over the spot that you want to change and then resize the circle as needed. If you ever want to compare the changes you've made with the Retouch tool you can turn it on or off with this little blue check mark here. Turning it off removes all of the retouching that you've done but you can turn it back on to get it all back. Now in addition to retouching you can also use this to repair photos. So for instance here's a photo that was scanned in and the original photo was damaged. Let's edit this and zoom in here to see this kind of crease in the photo. Let's go and use the Retouch tool here and you see if I drag it over a small portion it does a pretty good job of getting rid of it. Zoomed in like this I can still see that there's a problem there but it's not as bad as it was before. So I can just keep doing that in small sections. And it won't completely repair the photo. It can't replace what isn't there. But it will make it look a lot better when you're done. And you can see that that section of the photo looks a lot better than it did before if I toggle between them. And with a little more time and maybe using the tool at a smaller size with smaller sections you could do an even better job. Let's undo all these changes and look at another aspect of this. If you go to the Retouch tool notice at the bottom here it says Option Click to choose a source area. So what the source area does is it represents a texture. So it's not going to take the color from that area but kind of the texture of it. So I'll help you avoid making the area that you're retouching blurry. So for instance I can go and do Option and click here and that's the source area now. So now when I go to draw on this notice how it shows me those crosshairs of the source area where it's taking the texture from. And the result is that it should be taking kind of more of the texture from there. So it will be a little less blurry than before. And we want to watch that area to make sure it doesn't go onto a part of the picture that has a very different texture. 
But notice each time I drag the source area starts at the same point. So maybe you want to try switching between using a source area and not to see what results you can get. If you control click on the image there's the clear manual retouch source point to turn that off and now it's just doing the repair as before. Here's another example of retouching using the source point. If I look here you can see there's kind of a glare on this apple. I can use retouching to get rid of it like that. But you can see how it creates this blurry area. But if I Option click here where there's a nice apple texture and then I use that texture area look how much nicer that looks than the blurry area from before. It got rid of that shine but it kind of kept the same texture and the result is a little bit better. Another option is to use a third party app like say Pixelmator Pro or Affinity Photo. I can edit directly from the Photos app. I'll use Image, Edit With and then I'll select Pixelmator Pro. It will open up the image in Pixelmator Pro right there and there's a repair tool in Pixelmator Pro that I could use. And you can see it also has a brush size and even the square bracket keys work to change the size of that. And you can use this and see if maybe I get better results. So if you have some photos with some blemishes on them or you've scanned in some old photos that need repair try using the Repair Tool in the Photos app or the Repair Tools in third party apps and see if you can make them better. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.